But when you're an author on Wattpad, the best book cover can make all the difference. And I know people say that you should never judge a book by its cover, but it happens a lot more often than you'd think. I mean, after all, humans are a visual species. It's why images are important in blog posts and why thumbnails play such a big role in YouTube success. So this means you need to come up with something that's attractive to pique the interest of your potential reader. I'm Mike with Ryer Sanctuary and today I'm going to show you how to make a book cover for Wattpad using Canva. So what is Canva exactly? Well, Canva is a free platform that you can use that's web-based where you can create pretty much any graphic you want, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Canva has all the proper sizes for just about everything you could possibly think of so that you can create a graphic that fits exactly what you're trying to do. And there is a downloadable app that you can install on your computer and run it directly from your desktop. Canva has a slew of free tools and images that you can use for just about any purpose, but you'd get far more if you paid for the upgrade, which I'm debating on doing. And the free account saves up to so many images, whatever you create, so that you can always come back to it later. Okay, let's get started with the tutorial. Now from the Canva homepage, we're gonna search for the Wattpad book cover. You probably already saw that I've already done a couple of these. If you click on that, we'll be taken to a page that gives us a bunch of templates that we can try out and we can edit any parts of these and take or remove any of, uh, of the bits. These are all templates. And there's quite a few free, but if you see on the very bottom, you see the little dollar, dollar sign that says paid and that's for the premium ones. So we're gonna just stick it with the, just do a blank Wattpad, Wattpad book cover for now. So if I click this guy, we are taken to our editor with a blank page. Okay, so let's say that I am writing a book about time travel. Now there's a couple of different ways we can grab images. We can either search through the photos of Wattpad. So if we search for time travel, which I've already done earlier, and you see that there's quite a few free ones that we can use. The ones with the crowns are the ones that are pro. And if you don't want to sign up for the yearly account, you can pay a few bucks for just the image. So we can scroll through and see if we can find something that we like. So what if there's an image that we already have that we got from somewhere else that we want to use in our book cover? So we go to uploads. We're going to upload media from the device. And then choose the folder from your um, computer where your image is stored. Once Canva has added the image, if you just click on it, it'll add it to our template. From here, we grab these corner guys and we can move it out to make it fit the ebook dimensions. Now from here, we can move it back and forth, try to find the best position of the image we want to keep. I think I like this view, but I don't know. So probably I'll do it right about yeah. Okay, so now we need to add our text. So we're gonna go click on the text on the left. We're gonna add a heading. We're going to move it up to the top. Find the center. As you can see, the purple lines are Canva telling you where the, the justification is. That's dead center for the image. And we're gonna put it in our title. But the time, let's see. Um, do I wanna keep that? So if you triple click inside it or you can drag and drop and click the entire thing, we're going to look for a new font. So I think I'm going to go with the Anton font for this one. And then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that you can see it on the book cover. So maybe about there since that was justified according to the purple lines. And as you can see, Grammarly tries to um, open when you're typing any kind of text in Canva. If you don't want to use that or if you have Grammarly, you just turn off the button. Disable text. Goodbye. Yes, I got it. Okay, so what if we wanted to add an effect to it? Because it looks kind of plain. So we want it to stand out a little bit more. So we'll select all of the text. We'll go to the three dot here for more. We're going to go to effects. We're going to find something that we like. Now I'm going to use the splice or the echo. I think I'm going to use the echo because it's kind of like a drop shadow but it creates more than just one looks like a like a series of them depending on how long you make it so we're gonna do an echo so it gives it a little bit more of a little special font there we can make it as long or as short as we want so we're gonna keep it right about there and we can change the direction of it but i think i'm going to keep it right about there looks good 
So now we have our title. But now we have to add a byline. So I'm gonna use this one here, the cheers, it kind of glows, it's kind of cool. I might even keep the same font. So we're gonna go with by me. Okay, so as you can see, the text doesn't exactly fit that box. So what we're gonna do is highlight the text. We'll go up here to this minus button up here to decrease the font size and just crank it down as far as we can go so that it fits where I want it to. Oops, that's not what I, why didn't it, probably because I didn't hit the, there we go. Probably didn't hit the enter key after my byline there. And we'll go ahead and make it match the title width so it looks justified. Bam. And we'll grab it by here and pull it all the way down to the bottom. But that green kind of doesn't quite contrast very well with the background of what I'm building. So I'm going to change its color. So we highlight the whole thing. Go up here to the text color. And I'm going to make it blood red. Uh, it's not quite blood red, but can the upper red maybe? And there, now it stands out. Now if there's anything else that we wanted to add to it, we could add more elements, like uh, all these different graphics that Canva has. Um, little stamps, fun little dillies. You don't really necessarily need to use these. These are mostly for like if you're doing images for the web uh, or social media. Um, like these ones here, for charts are for infographics. So Canva covers it all. And you don't necessarily have to use photos and uploads. You can also use backgrounds. Um, this is the one that I use for despair. It might look familiar. But there's all kinds of really nice backgrounds that you can add as an ebook for Wattpad. Um, there's quite a few free ones. Uh, eventually come down to the premium ones, but for the most part, I think a large chunk of the backgrounds are free in Wattpad or Canva. But there's a lot of really nice looking backgrounds that if you just wanted something basic uh, to upload, that's great. Okay, so now that we have our Wattpad book cover done, let's go ahead and download it. We'll hit this button up here and we have access to save it as a PNG, JPEG, PDFs, or video and a GIF, but we didn't have any animation in those, so it's not gonna matter. I wanna keep it as a PNG, because it's a high quality image, and if I had a premium account, I could change the size, transparent background, or compress the file, but I don't have any of that, because it's a free account. So I'm gonna hit download. And after a moment, Canva will open up your download screen. For me, I have Chrome set to ask me where I want something saved. Um, otherwise, it'll save it to your downloads folder. Then we can close this here, and close that. And now we have our Wattpad book cover. So let's put a book cover on our Wattpad page. So I'm gonna go over here and go right. I'm gonna do a create a new story. I'm gonna add my Wattpad cover right here, upload the cover, select my file that I saved, and there we go. And if we want to change it, we can edit the cover from here. And see, even Wattpad will open up Canva to create the cover. So if you click on this button here, it's going to load the Canva app directly in Wattpad. Now that's kind of cool. And if we don't want to do that, we just hit the X button up here. And we're good to go. Now we can fill out our story details and start writing. And my neighbor decides to mow their lawn. And as you can see, creating any kind of image in Canva is pretty simple. The tools are straightforward. Uh, not very much of a learning curve to it. It's all pretty self-explanatory. I've made quite a few book covers from it. I've done all, pretty much all my images from YouTube has come from Canva, at least a large portion of them. But Canva is a very good free system that you can use to create your Wattpad book covers. So how many books do you have published on Wattpad? Personally, I've got a handful of short stories that are finished. I'm working on seven and definitely despair. So I would like to expand my library eventually when I have the time. But if you find the video informative, hit the like button for more videos about Wattpad, freelance writing, WordPress, blogging, or anything else I cover, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I think it's going to do it for me today, and I'll see you next time.